Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jason and Jaron Collins. Thank you. I'm Jaron Collins, and alongside my kind and brilliant wife, Elsa, we have three children that are raised here in America. I want my kids to know that anything is possible here. I want them to know that any more than any star athlete, the President of the United States is a role model to millions of children. So when it comes to Donald Trump, how do you tell your kids not to be a bully if their president is one? How do you tell your kids to respect their heritage, my wife is Mexican-American, if their president disparages it? How do you tell your daughters they are empowered if their president reduces women to their physical appearance? My parents, my family, and all the great coaches I've had in my life have taught me the importance of working hard, playing fair, and most importantly, the ability to lead and bring people together to accomplish great things. That sounds like Hillary Clinton to me. And now, it is with great pride I introduce the first publicly gay athlete to play in any of the four major American sports leagues, my less handsome twin brother, <laughs> Jason Collins. <laughs> Thank you, Jaron. I'll get you back for that one later. <laughs> my dream was to play in the NBA and live my authentic life as a proud gay man at the same time. I was able to accomplish both of those goals because of the people who have supported me throughout my life. Before I came out to the world on the cover of Sports Illustrated, I came out privately to the Clinton family. I have known their family for almost 20 years. I knew that they would accept me for who I was and that they would help pave a path for others to do the same. I am forever grateful for their words of wisdom back then and their unconditional support. They knew that my sexual orientation made no difference in my ability to play basketball. Just as someone's gender makes no difference in his or her ability to lead our nation. <laughs> Hillary has defended the LGBT community for years, from co-sponsoring the Matthew Shepard Hate Crimes Prevention Act to helping pass the first ever UN resolution on LGBT human rights to making sure transgender individuals' passports could reflect their true gender. As both an African-American and a member of the LGBT community, the choice for continued progress is clear. This November, we must elect Hillary Clinton as our next president. Thank you.